Hey, what's going on with y'all boys today? It's Clip Ganger Don't Bang, aka CGODB. Um, tonight I'm back with another video. This time it's going to be a little bit different from the usual breakdowns and stuff. I'm going to give my reaction to the uniforms that leaked um, just the other day on, on various social medias. And um, some different artist renderings on the Intuit Dome. It's coming very, very shortly in 2024. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give my opinions on these jerseys. Even I got a little special surprise at the end, too. I'm going to um, show you guys some different jerseys that I made uh, personally. You know, just some different ideas and stuff. Once we move into the Intuit Dome, um, and hopefully we can rebrand and just go with the you know, the light blue and the orange. Just go go with that color, colorway. Um, but yeah, so these ones right here. Let's take a look. So these were the leaked concept jerseys that came out. Um, these ones right here at the top left. And I guess these will be the official ones, these new statement ones. So overall, I think it's very clean. Uh, basic black and white colorway. I really like the Los Angeles font. Um, I think that should just be our normal font, honestly, um, for the meantime. But yeah, it's very clean. I like the Jordan logo. Um, the Clipper logo on the shorts, too. And I like the little San Diego um, Clipper logos on the on the sides of the, of the shirt and the shorts, but yeah, I mean it's 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 cool. It's very clean. I think it looks better on the player. Like it looks cool with Kawhi rocking it. Um, so those those ones are fine with me, honestly. Those those are cool, but the city edition on these ones, I have a problem because like it's like the same thing, just more boring and with just a different font that's not as cool. Like I I really am not rocking with these city edition ones. Hopefully these ones are not it, and um, they just stick with the light blue because. I did not really like these. Let me know what you guys think. I just think it's really boring, kind of a waste of a jersey, you know? You might as well just bring a red City Edition jersey, just bring those back from the Lob City days or shit. Even bring back those 2018 uh, blue um, Olympic jerseys. Um, you know, the 2018 Lou Will ones, those are nasty. But next one, so just a different look. Uh, I guess these will be the official ones. Yeah, I mean, pretty cool, pretty cool. A lot of people complain about the red and blue stripe on the collar, but I think they look, uh, I think they look all right, honestly. Um, I definitely buy one. Then these were, um, these were like the leaks that came out like like a few months ago, but I guess the whoever artists made this, I guess they're pretty close and they're all almost exactly right because. Uh, the statement ones, they look a little bit different from the ones that came out the other day, but the City Edition ones look exactly the same. So, um, yeah, as you can see, just comparing jerseys. Yeah. And then this one right here, just a little into it dome, just the outside look. It just looks beautiful, you know what I mean? Kawhi, PG, Stevie, just chilling. Yes, sir. It's another look on the outside. Um, I can't wait to go, personally. I think it's just going to be amazing. Uh, Steve Ballmer really taking care of the team. And now that we're on even playing field since uh, Donald Sterling's gone, I just can't wait for this new direction that he's going to take the Clippers. It's going to be one of the greatest upcomings in um, you know, sports story history, uh, upcoming of the Clipper franchise. And I just, you know, I just can't wait. It's going to be so beautiful. Um, going to have the nicest stadium in the league. Just looking at it from the outside, it just looks so amazing, man. Um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I see a basketball court outside even. I heard there's a couple inside. Hopefully there's good parking in that bit. But, yeah. And this is um, a photo that came out. Um, but yeah, this is just a live look from, you know, if you're sitting right here, kind of 
It's a live look. This is a really nice seats. Just looks amazing. Look at that scoreboard too up there. You know, wrapping around like SoFi Stadium with the Chargers and Rams Stadium. Um, yeah, I mean, this thing just looks pretty sweet. I don't know if you could see on there too, but I don't know. It says Marcus Morris on the scoreboard right there. I know it's blurry, but I don't know. Is that hints that we're not trading him? I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, overall, though, I think it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty neat. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just I want to go. My first Clipper game is going to be at Intuit Dome most likely, and I just can't wait. Um, I'm going to definitely be down at Summer League um, in a few months because I'm down here in Vegas. But, yeah. Whew. So this is just more details. 38,375 square feet, almost an acre, which is 3,592 60-inch TVs combined. Holy shit. 4K quality. Largest double-side arena halo ever. Um, roof specifically engineered for the giant halo. Optimal sight lines from all seats prioritizes, prioritizes the upper bowl. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're pretty much kind of replicating what the Jazz Stadium is. They kind of have like a wall of sound. And um, so, yeah, the, the arena is going to be rocking. Let me tell you, boys, the arena is going to be rocking, man. And they specifically made it so, you know, we're going to have a home court advantage. And uh, it's going to be, be really, really loud in there. Kind of like T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, man, because it gets loud during, like, the uh, Golden Knight games. But, yeah, I mean, I just just looks amazing. Looks amazing. Nothing more than I could say, you know. It would have been really crazy if Steve Ballmer decided to go cheap on the on the stadium and stuff and um, all the relocating. But, no, nah, of course he's not going cheap, you know. He's going to give us the best stuff. Then this right here, I, I got live footage, y'all. I went down to into a Dome. They're doing construction. I took this video for you guys. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. You only get this type of footage on my channel. You know, I got live footage, y'all. I went down there myself. So this is what it looks like from center court. Um, I mean, yeah, it looks pretty dope. I can see BBJ hitting some game winners out there. This is just a look from uh from near court side. As you can see as well, they got Morris on the court. Who is that? Ibaka. It's funny, but yeah, I mean it looks pretty cool. Like you're like man, I would love to get seats this close. Yeah, it just looks super badass. Just like walking into the game. Another artist rendering. This thing looks pretty sweet right here. I like that big LA Clippers right there with PG, Kawhi. That thing looks nice. Um, yep. Next one. I guess they have a basketball court inside of the arena for, for different games to be played. Man, that's pretty sweet. Y'all do not want to see me on that court, man. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know about that. Um, just more, just all Clipper stuff. You don't got to see more of that Laker bullshit. All those ancient rings. You don't got to see any more of that, man. We got our own stuff. So, you know, looks amazing. Then these right here, these are a little special treat. So, I made these little uh, Clipper concepts on the video game. These are what I use on the franchise, but... Um, yeah, so BBJ modeling, modeling it for us. Um, these are like little pinstripe ones. Um, let me zoom in. So yeah, I kind of leaned into that orange and blue colorway. These would, these would be the home ones. You know, just basic, uh, white. See the back side. Kind of got the arrows going down the side. Looks pretty dope. I like the number. Um, I made these super quick too. Super quick. And these are just the uh, away ones right here. Pretty clean, pretty clean. I like the blue and orange. Um, 
if we lean into these colorways when you move into Intuit Dome, man, it's just going to be really, really nice. Especially if we have that logo right there on the bottom too. Switch back to that logo. Because the new logo, or the logo we have currently is just not it. That shit is ass. But these look clean right here. Even the side stripes too. BBJ, I can see him rocking these. Looks hella clean. You guys got to let me know what you think too about these. Um, if I had more time too, I'd probably put a, put a logo, like um, put the Clippers font like above the logo um, and put on the jersey. Um, but yeah, the next one right here, super clean. Um, yeah, these are like the alternate ones. It says last name because it's in the editor. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are just super dope in my opinion. Um, I made these super quick, by the way. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, um, about the jerseys that leaked for the Clippers. Uh, my jersey concepts I made and, um, you know, just different artist renderings on the, on the Intuit Dome and different features, all the TVs and all that shit, man. I'm excited personally. You know, I think it's going to be huge for our culture and stuff and the team's identity finally you know have um you know just a grand opening it's just gonna be like a really really good vibes um type of day so yep let me know what you guys think um i my next season grade video is probably gonna be on nicholas Batum, so look out for that other than that though um i may do a few charger videos here and there so yeah Anyways, guys, take it easy. CGODB signing out.